Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. And today, we are making an acrylic LED sign that lights up. <laughs> if this is your first time here, I do project videos using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. Okay, so I ordered this corner bookshelf that I'm gonna put in that corner back there where that light at. So I can start displaying some of my projects. I could put some of my old stuff up there. I don't wanna put no old stuff up there. I wanna put all new projects on the bookshelf once it gets delivered. So the first project that I'm gonna put on there, we're gonna make today, which is an acrylic LED sign that can be changed out. I have LED lights, one eighth inch acrylic, one fourth inch acrylic, acrylic solvent with the applicator, and a ruler. Okay, this is gonna be the black acrylic right here. This is gonna be the back piece right here. It measures 11 by five inches. This is gonna be the front. As you can see, this is gonna be like the border part right here. And this middle part right here is where the sign is gonna be at. And this right here is gonna be the middle part. I'm gonna cut this out of quarter inch thick acrylic. And as you can see to the right over here, we got it cut open right here. Because we want that open because that's what we're gonna use so we can change the LED sign. So far so good. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to glue it on top of this right here and then I'm going to glue the other one on top like so. Then next I'm going to take the LED strip. It got this adhesive on the back and I'm basically going to line the LED strip inside like so. I'm gonna line it up all the way inside like that. And then I'm gonna take the last part and I'm gonna put it on top. And as you can see, it's gonna stick out right here on the side. And also we'll be able to change it when we want to. That's why we have this opening right here. Okay. We got the first part put together. I'll peel that off in a minute. But we got it all put together. As you can see, we got the lights inside. I did make sure the lights was working, so no need to worry on that. Okay, this is gonna be the first sign that we're going to make. As you can see, it says work harder. I got these measurement after we cut the LED light part where the LED strip is gonna go inside. And we got, for the length, we got 10.5. And for the height, we got 4.25 inches. And that's what we're gonna cut out. We're gonna use clear acrylic and we're going to engrave work harder. And the back piece, this is gonna be black acrylic right here. This is gonna be one solid piece right here. As you can see, I'm gonna cut out the red line. It is exactly the same size, 10.5 by 4.25 inches. And this black line in the inside, we're gonna score it. Okay, we got the first sign cut out, engraved, put together and everything. But as you look closely on the edge, you can actually see where the glue on the outside is coming through the clear acrylic, but I knew that. And the reason why I ended up using the E6000 instead of continuing to use the acrylic solvent, the acrylic solvent was actually leaking all the way through the edges. And as you can see, it started showing up inside of the piece. And it kind of gives it an artistic look, but I wanted to make it as clean as possible. Okay, for the second design, we going with Troy the Maker, the name of this channel. But instead of using clear acrylic, I have this fluorescent green acrylic that I wanna try out. It kinda got this clear look to it also, and plus with the LED lights, hopefully that it gives a whole different look. I don't know what it's gonna turn out, but I hope it turns out good. We got the LED light holder, and we have the sign. Basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna stick it inside like so, and it slides in, and it's gonna look like this right here. You wanna change it out, you just grab it 
where it's kind of hard because I'm trying not to. Here we go. And you can slide it out and you can change out the signs. So let's light it up. There you have it. I would say use clear acrylic if you're gonna be using some LED lights with colors and stuff like that because with that green, probably any other color that's fluorescent, it's probably just gonna stay that color unless it was red. It kind of did a little different effect. But with clear acrylic, you're gonna get different colors out of it like so. With that being said, I learned a lot from this project. Let me know if you're gonna make one of these yourself. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project. Peace.